eight, seven, six, five. The four, Bison style three, lifter and wicked wedge, two, and uh, the absolute five, bulletproof reliability five. from Red Hawk. Oh! Now, Kyle, on paper, this uh, does not look good for Red Hawk. No, uh, because uh, not. Wicked Wedge is designed to stop that blade. Redirect all that energy upwards and just make Red Hawk. Wow! Whoa, that was A impressive. successful lift for Wicked Wedge. Wicked Wedge was bot, did the thing it was designed to do. That's always fun. And that was some quote unquote help from Brett. Brett's a little rough with the help, but he's, he is helping. It just looks a little violent. Kyle, Wicked Wedge has that one glowing red eye. That giraffe looks yeah, rabid. It's, uh, it's like a ter Terminator version of a giraffe at this point. And uh, I got to say, doing a really good job keeping the, the front of the robot facing towards that, that bar, making sure that no real damage is happening to its sides. Doing everything that it needs to do as a wedge bot to win. Red Hawk is really desperate to get around the front of that wedge and try and hit the side of, of Wicked Wedge. And what Wicked Wedge really needs to do is remain squared up and try and break that bar. That's exactly right. Either by pushing Red Hawk into the wall or just continuing to take hits to the face. It's matches like this that make me... Uh Make me wonder how good of an idea it is to bring just as little weapon as you can to this tournament and just try to make a very tanky box. Yeah. I, it's got its advantages as a strategy. It definitely has its disadvantages. In this particular case, I think it's going to work out for them. With 75 seconds left, it looks like Red Hawk's weapon might be down for good. Yeah. Red Hawk has had a fantastic showing at this tournament so far. And Wicked Wedge is continuing to show that aggression and that control, not letting up at all, pushing around its opponent. Giving them just enough space so that they can plan their next move and go in for it. 45 seconds left. Oh yeah. Evil Giraffe Wicked Wedge. <laughs> This, uh, this evil giraffe is built by Remy de Guzman from Ann Arbor, Michigan. So uh, traveled all the way out here from Michigan and uh, looks like they might be taking down one of the big dogs. Although Red Hawk's weapon is back. Where yeah, did it come where did from, that come Kyle? From? I don't know. With 15 seconds left, is it enough to rack up the points that it needs to win? Hard to say, hard Ooh, to say. Ooh, this is gonna be a close call. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. That's the end of this fight. Wow. Power down those weapons. Head to the door. This one goes to the judges. Wow, that was a real back and forth match. It really was. It was very well done. Ooh, tough, tough call. All right, Andrew, let's start with you. Your thoughts. Wicked Wedge versus Red Hawk. Yeah, I'm going with Wick, uh, Wicked Wedge on this one. Um, they really controlled the pacing of the fight. They didn't get any really damage from Red Hawk's bar and Red Hawk needed to be saved by uh, the brick. I don't know if it was Brett or which arena we're in, but yeah, the, you know, I, I felt like Wicked Wedge really you know, showed what they could do with that lifting plow. Amazing, one vote for Wicked Wedge. How about you, Don? Yeah, I agree. Wicked Wedge uh, had most of the control and aggression for the match, and whenever it got a pin into the corner, it used its active weapon, so. Go Wicked Wedge. All right, two votes for Wicked Wedge. Jack, will this be a unanimous judge's decision? It will be. They were fully in control for the entirety of the fight. And the rabid giraffe remains alive, Kyle. Unanimous judge's decision for Wicked Wedge. Thank unanimous. you so much, judges.